Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Scents. Our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. Today's video is all about fun, flirty, fruity fragrances. Those fragrances that just smell good, smell pretty, make you smile, and are loaded with that yummy, juicy fruitiness. I also am going to be talking about what I've picked up recently from Ombre Bijou and some things that Amber also sent to me from her new collection. So if you're interested, let's jump right into the video. I'll start off by talking to you guys about the ones that I purchased with my own coin. This one is called Honey Love Buzz. This is a backup jar. So this is predominantly fall and winter. And I know with companies, a lot of times they focus on the season that they're in. In case this one gets shelved until next fall or this coming up fall and winter, I wanted to make sure that I had a backup bottle because I will wear this whenever I want to. I had already had the elixirs to let that mango and lavender fairy dust. So I decided to pick up the whipped butterfluffs to both lavender fairy dust and let that mango. So what I had was uh, samples of these. Loved them and knew I needed full jars. So I also had pink satin sheets in the whipped butterfluff and very berry gelato, which actually in my whipped butterfluff used to be called plum berry gelato. So I decided to pick up the elixirs to both because again, I just love these fragrances. Um, I'm going to tell you for me, let me talk about these pink satin sheets is actually my least favorite from the line. And that says a lot when it's my least favorite in the, from the line, but I still needed to have the complete set. It doesn't smell bad. There's always going to be something that you like the least out of the things that you like. I still like it, clearly. I wouldn't be spending my own coin on it. This almost gives me like <sighs> dryer sheets almost. But in the best way, like floral dryer sheets. Um, This paired so well with Oriana with Oriana from Parfums de Marly. I was testing it because I don't really care for that fragrance. It's definitely not worth $320. But because of that dryer sheet thing, um, I decided to pair it. This made Oriana so much better. Again, this is pink satin sheets. I also really like this with rose. So with my uh, Pivon Suju, or however you say that from the Armani Privé line, it is absolutely stunning. I think that you could use this with any um, fresh rose. I also liked it with Miss Class. Now, Miss Class is the inspired by version of Miss Dior's Cherie. It's done by Dua, of course. So if you have a nice, fresh, clean rose, I could probably see me wearing this with um, Rose is Greedy because it's so different. And it's just going to add a different element to it. I like it. So, and then I also got very, very gelato. Like I said, y'all, let me tell you something. <sighs> if you like berries, if you like raspberry, if you like blueberry, mulberry, if you like your berries, your red berries, your nice, tart, slightly sweet berries, you're going to love this fragrance. I cannot wait to wear this with like Lalique's Amethyst with my very um, Irresistible from Givenchy, the Eau de Toilette, the Eau de Parfum, the Delicioso. It doesn't matter. Um, the only thing I don't really gravitate towards when it comes to berries and wearing this is strawberry. This is so strong and potent on the tart berries. I think you would eat strawberry alive. And I just prefer to do strawberry and strawberry when, you know, wearing strawberry. So again, very berry gelato. If you're a berry girl, if you don't like things that are super sweet, but you want some tartness and you just want a realistic berry fragrance, this is the one. Now on to the new collection that she sent me. Now, one of them that she sent me, I am not going to talk about in this video because it fits better in a different video because of the genre or vibe of the scent. So let's talk about first one I already talked about on my Instagram. This is called Alada Colada. 
This is a beautiful pina colada like fragrance, like scent. And I absolutely adore it. This is the elixir that was the whipped butter fluff I shared. I love this. If you have something in your collection that is tropical, that is fruity, this is perfect for that. If you have something with a suntan lotion accord, something heavy on um, pineapple or coconuts or, or anything that you normally wear to the beach, something that feels tropical, vacation-like, or if you live in a tropical climate, this is a beautiful fragrance to... Um, uh, you know, lather your skin in and then put something over. Or you could wear it on its own. For me, I wore this with um, Creed's Virgin Island Water. You could not sell me nothing. And then I also wore this with um, Musky Pineapple from Dua. Yeah, I'm not a conceited person. I'm not that girl at all. I wear jeans and t-shirts every day, sweatshirts, you know, stuff like that. But you couldn't tell me I wasn't the best thing since sliced bread that day. I mean... Please, a pineapple note with this incredible incredible oh my god okay so next up we have champagne pear is one that she also sent me i also have the butter fluff here and also the body scrub this yeah i talked about the body scrub before look at this is not the first time i talked about ombre bijou this entire experience with her. If you get the soap and then you do the body scrub and then you do your uh, body butter and then you do the elixir, you get to just like pamper yourself at home without having to spend a bunch of money at a spa. And I absolutely am here for it. This smells so good, y'all. I'm going to literally, my youngest, if he keeps screaming like that. Anyway, um, champagne pear is what it's called again. This is not the pair that you're going to get in uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle. That's a little bit too heavy, too sweet, too dark and decadent for this. This is a fresh pair. If you have a fragrance with a champagne note in it, something sparkly, this is going to go well with it. If you have a pear note like you would get in, let's say, the first thing that comes to mind to wear this with would be Burberry Hair Auto Toilette Formulation, the one they just released. Something fresh like that. This is going to be a star. Even if you get one of the Jadors, whichever one of the Jadors has the champagne note, I think this will go great with that. I've tried them. I've had decanted them. I can't tell which way I'm going, coming or going with the Jadors. So I'm not going to try. Last but not least is my favorite. Oh my gosh, y'all. You talking about Fruit Punch Kool-Aid? It's called Honey Apricot Glow. I also got the butter fluff to this one and the body scrub. I think you guys get the gist on the packaging, though. So maybe I'll show them anyway, because some of y'all really, really like that. Like, show it to me, show it to me. Here's the top. Here's the front of the body scrub. Maybe I need to open it up. Be a good little hostess, Tara Michelle. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Oh, my gosh. I just want to eat it. It smells like Fruit Punch Kool-Aid or Tropical Kool-Aid. It smells like Kool-Aid when you... um. <gasps> That's what it smells like. I was getting ready to say when you open up the pack of Kool-Aid and you smell it and then you got to sneeze for 35 uh, times. Yeah, that. But then I just thought about it. What it really smells like is Pixie Sticks. The Pixie Sticks, the little sugar um, flavored packets, you just throw it back in your mouth and you just you fill your mouth with glorious sugar, flavored sugar. This, let me tell you something. You want to know what I'm be wearing this? Room 129 from the Talia Faro. Of course, anything sweet. Um, honey apricot glow. I don't like when I think about let that man go. I think about like the irresistible collection from Givenchy. Anything fruity, but I don't necessarily think about like actual mango because this smells so much better than any mango scent that I've smelled. I tend to wear let that mango by itself. To be honest, I haven't paired it with a um. A fragrance in the last handful of times that I've been testing it and wearing it because I really like it. Um, the mango scents that I know about, like what's that? Uh, mango skin, that nasty booty juice, that that note, civet. Oh, that stuff is so trifling. That animalic nasty booty juice ruins that perfume for me. So for me, I would rather just wear let that mango by itself. When it comes to the apr the honey apricot glow, though. It's such a beautiful pixie sticks, Kool-Aid, sugary, sugary, sugary vibe. 
that again I'm going to move over to the um irresistible collection from Givenchy I want to move over to something that's super sweet but what I also want to do is I want to pair this with Delena and with DNG3 Lee and Paratrice I really think Taking something super, super tart and mixing it with this is going to make it epic. Guys, if you don't get anything else from Ombre Brigitte from this new collection, I, if you like sweet stuff like me, if your palette is close to mine, which a lot of you tell me it is honey, apricot, glow honey. To start off our fun, fruity, flirty list, I'm going to talk about two fragrances I've already mentioned in this video. We're going to move over to the house of Givenchy. We're going to be talking about the Live Irresistible Collection. Now, I do own the Eau de Parfum in a decant, so I'm not talking about it here because it's not a pretty shiny bottle. But I will be talking about Live Irresistible Eau de Parfum Delicious and the Eau de Toilette formulation. So I pulled my computer up, y'all. Because, baby, just listen to these notes. Listen, I don't want to miss a note talking about this one. First, we're going to talk about the Delicios. Here is the bottle. These bottles are shaped like a triangle. Like, um, so get ready to have to deal with that when trying to put it on your shelf and figure out how you're going to do that. Little, you know, um, it's slick here, but then it has the ridges like the Donna from Valentino there. Here we go. Uh, live Irresistible Eau de Parfum Delicious. So, we're going to go with French Pastries. Cherry, Rose, Orange Blossom, Bitter Almond, Caramel, Vanilla, and Orris Root. Come on. Like, this is so sweet and pretty. And uh, slightly floral. I just love, I and, and baby, putting the top back on. Good luck with that. It's like a freaking Rubik's Cube. Let's move over to the uh, Eau de Toilette formulation. And so the juice is lighter. Let me just do the side by side since I have them both here, you know. You, look how much I've worn this one. Honey, baby, child, please. This is my, this is my boo thing. I like them both. So, um, Eau de Toilette formulation is raspberry, pineapple, pear, grapefruit, lemon, peach, pepper, rose, lily of the valley, caramel, musk, and patchouli. These are like, there, there is, they are sweet, but there's a freshness to them out of the bottle and in the opening but the longer i keep it on me the sweeter it gets baby these two fragrances really work well with my body chemistry viva la juicy's soiree i you know this is a massive freaking bottle i don't know if you guys can see how much i'm using this i really love this fragrance this is the fragrance that i think this is maybe the first fragrance with a kiwi note there is something so clean and so fresh and also so incredibly fruity feminine and beautiful about this fragrance um i just it works good with me again with my chemistry so let's talk about viva la juicy soiree you're going to get your kiwi some cassis mandarin orange water lily jasmine sombak regular jasmine amber musk and woody notes mm, mm, mm. it's just pretty like this one is, this is absolutely so flirty. I put this on and I just feel in a playful mood. I feel like I want to bat my eyelashes and grin and giggle all day. And, and I don't mean that in a juvenile way. Because she has a little bit of sex appeal to her, especially towards in the dry down. When you get to talking about musks and woody notes and stuff like that, um, following in after fruit, I just think you get that vibe. And I just, guys, I love this one. I know I talked about it before and a lot of people picked it up and loved it. So, I mean, look, if you're a fruity girl, I don't think that you're going to go wrong with that one. Next up, we're going to talk about a fragrance that I absolutely love. And so many people in Fragcom either think it's way too juvenile, too sweet, um, or they love it like me. And I'm glad to be one of the ones who loves it. This packaging is so cute. The notes list is extremely short. And you actually pick up all four of the notes that I see put everywhere. I'm sure there could probably be way more than just four notes in it. But this touts candy apple, rose, whipped cream, and vanilla. Baby, we are talking about none other than candy love. 
by Escada. I absolutely almost called this Candy Apple because that's the note that's in there. Candy Love by Escada. So fun, so fruity, so flirty. Like this is the type of fragrance I'm talking about when you just want to wear something and just, I mean, look, you cannot not be happy when wearing this. You know what I'm saying? Just, man, the and these, these fun, fruity, uh, flirty fragrances are also those fragrances that you wear on a first date maybe or if you're especially if you're like in your teens and your early 20s like this could be your vibe every day this is what you want to smell like every day maybe when you start to get into your 30s and 40s you feel like you can only do it every now and then but look I could this could be a signature scent for me in the spring for sure if I didn't have all this behind me but that's just how much I like it I like the way it makes me feel. And isn't that all that matters? This taking this top off, though, I tell you, I don't like how that make me feel every time. Yeah, ooh, I love this. I love it. It makes me so happy. If you have a Scotta Candy Love, let me know what you think about it. Was it too young and youthful for you? I hate to use the word juvenile because it's not fair and I like it. You know what I'm saying? They're 41 years old. I wish somebody would. But anyway, I like it. Next up, we're going to be talking about K.I. Lee's Eden Juicy Apple 01. So I've used this one. Like I took this when it first came out. I was on spring break vacation, so I took it with me. Um, you guys can look at that review. I'll put it up here somewhere. But this one has grown on me even more. It is still very reminiscent of something that I smelled from Bath & Body Works. But that's not a dig um, because Bath & Body Works comes through with that fire when it comes to them body sprays. But because of the price point with this, it did really turn a lot of us off. This is a lot of money for something that's reminiscent of Bath & Body Works and didn't really last for me. Now, granted, I was on the beach and the winds were high as heck. So I cannot wait to play with this now that I'm home in the spring, in the summer where I'm less likely to be dealing with so much wind. It is a pretty fragrance. Cannot deny that. So the notes in here are red apple, black currant, lychee pink grapefruit, wild berries, raspberry bloom, jasmine, sugar, may rose, musk, vanilla flower, moss, and amber. My goodness, what a list of notes. What a list of notes. And it is so pretty. My goodness, you can't, I mean, listen, I can't think of a man who isn't going to want his woman to smell like this. You smell edible, you smell pretty, like I said, this fits in perfectly with the fun, fruity, flirty title of the video. This is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Oh, so intense. People be like, I'm tall. Like, okay, whatever. Oh, so intense. So, um, it's the strawberry for me in this, y'all. I can say strawberry and just be done with describing this. But I'm going to go ahead and give you the notes. Strawberry, pear, bergamot, honey, jasmine, rose, musk, benzoin, vanilla, and moss. Now, you do get those other notes. This is such a pretty, and I love the use of moss in here, honey. Such a pretty, beautiful fragrance, but it is the strawberry for me. I am really loving strawberry in fragrances from the Kate Spade New York to this to Sugarful to um what else do i have this strawberry that has a really good strawberry in it i also like it in burberry her all three of them uh you just in it it just is a really really great note um hot couture on the toilet formulation baby that strawberry go hard too but i love the strawberry note in this so if you're a fan of strawberry you might want to get your hands on this one next up we're going to talk about Versace Eros Eau de Toilette Formulation. I love the war that goes on in Fragcom about which one is better, the Eau de Parfum or the Eau de Toilette. Um, I refuse to choose. I own them both. Two different vibes completely. But this one here has a raspberry note in here and a Sicilian lemon, I believe, that is just unstoppable. So I love, even though they don't smell alike, it's the lemon and the raspberry combination in this and because it's you from um, Giorgio Emporio Armani, Emporio Armani. There's just something about that combination of raspberry and lemon that just really gets to me. I think it's really pretty. The notes, raspberry, Sicilian lemon, white currant, mandarin orange, magnolia, freesia, 
musk, orange blossom, and woody notes. I don't really, do I pick up orange blossom in this? Not really. I definitely get that freezer, baby. I'm here for freezer all day. The musk, the magnolia. That's interesting. But this is, this is just a, a, a slightly fresher fruity fragrance. So there's more freshness and musk and woodiness in this than there is fruit. But baby, this is definitely fun and flirty to me as well. Just, this might actually have a little bit more sex appeal to it like this is definitely something i can see being great for date night but again you could also wear it to work this girl is just well-rounded and versatile honey that's just what she is again that's versace eros or the toilette formulation this is valentino born in roma coral fantasy i have a review for this one i'll try to remember to put it up in the cards as well yo the notes in this kiwi baby i'm a kiwi girl I'm a Kiwi girl. Kiwi, Brazilian orange, rose, ambrette, Indian jasmine, white musk, Texas cedar. I love fruitiness paired with a little bit of florals, just a little bit, um, or fruitiness with the citrus and the wood, the woody notes, or a musk. There's just a winning combination when you're doing that. Um, the, whoa, this joking guy, Paputon. Ooh, hunty. Oh my God. On the top. Baby, that rose is coming through. That musk in this. Look, y'all, okay. Uh, this might not have needed to be on this list because this, this is sexy. I might have to put this on the sexy list too. It is fun. It is flirty and it is fruity. That opening of that, key, man, y'all, this smells so much better than what he did at first. Oh, dang. The muskiness, I need a big bottle of this. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Look, uh, oh, let me finish talking about it. Lord have mercy. Um, so I love this, clearly. It's better than what it was the first time I tried it and the second time that I tried it. And I wore these for full days. This is coming through, baby. I need a big bottle to sit back on the shelf while I work through this one. I feel like six months, eight months, nine months, a year down the line after having this sitting on the shelf and you're going to have some bomb magic here this is good just in a difference of a, a week or two come through so yes it does fit the video concept but you could also transition this into nighttime this is also sexy date night appropriate this is this is uh this is fire this next fragrance i really adore even though i don't really talk about it that often on my channel and i barely reach for it i think i've only worn it two times i think i've owned it for three years but i do like it and i want to get some wear out of it this year i don't want it just sitting on my shelf this is mac candy yum yum i almost said turquoise mac candy yum yum the notes in this one are cherry I, do you love cherry blossom Tell me in the comments if you love Cherry Blossom because that Japanese Cherry Blossom from Bad Than Body Works is lit, lit. And then there's one from Shea and Blue too, I think. Baby, I love a Cherry Blossom. Go to the Botanical Gardens, baby. They just smell so good. Okay, again, so we have Cherry Blossom, Guava, Iris Flower, Vanilla, and Cotton Candy. I just like this. This is the epitome of this video concept here. It is not doing too much of anything. It is just, yeah, it's just a vibe. It's not too fruity. It's not too floral or anything like that. This is just a pretty for the sake of being pretty fragrance that also fits into all three of the categories in the title of this video. This is Ariana Grande's Thank You Next 2.0. The notes in here are wild strawberry, apple juice, pomegranate, white orchid, jasmine, marshmallow, musk, and sandalwood. Baby, let me tell you this wild strawberry and this freaking apple juice. I don't think any other fragrance on this list fits fun, fruity, and flirty better than this one. The epit with the strongest word, the emphasis being on fun. It is just fun. And sometimes you just got to have fun, you know? Um, I think that we need to, to hold on to fun, especially as we get older. There's this really crazy concept out there that you have to be super serious and super mature, and super boring and like lifeless. No, 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 no. 
There's still life to be had. There's still fun to be had. Life to be lived, fun to be had. So, and you can also experience that through your fragrance. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love spending time with you guys. You know, I genuinely mean that. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel and also select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. I want to talk to you guys in the comments about today's concept. Do you own any of these and how do you feel about them? And if not, if you do like fruity fragrances, tell me what your favorite fun, fruity, flirty fragrances are. I'm always looking for new, amazing fruity fragrances. I can't deny it. Even in trying to dwindle down my collection, fruity will always probably lead the pack when it comes to this girl's collection. Until then, guys. Bye.